Spring bear hunting is something I've done since I was young. It's something that's taken me a lot of years to figure out. Something I'm still figuring out, really. And I look forward to it more and more every year. Growing up hunting bears was hard. It took me a long time to figure out how to find bears in the mountains here. I would go to the areas that I knew other people were finding bears in, and I couldn't do it. I didn't know what they were doing differently. And after a number of years of trying, I finally started to figure it out. Recently, I've found myself at a bit of a crossroads when it comes to hunting spring bears. Over the years, I've taken a number of bears. So what I'm looking for is getting harder and harder all the time. Finding big mature bears in Montana is hard. But I love the challenge. I love being out there whether I get a bear or not. So for me this year, I just wanted to get back to my roots. I wanted to hunt the areas I used to hunt, and I wanted to hunt the way I used to hunt. By myself, filming my hunts as I went along. This year I was getting ready for a doll sheep hunt in July, so I wanted to use the spring season as a good opportunity to dig deeper and hunt harder than I had in years to get my body in sheep shape. Spring bear hunting was a perfect opportunity to do that, pack some weight and put some miles on my boots. I knew if I walked enough and hiked enough I was going to see bears. It was just a matter of finding a big bear. Well, we've got some uh, Heather's Choice packaroons here. I'm going to have a little snack. Blueberry almond. Ooh. Like me some blueberry almond. Seen three bears today. Kind of starting to rain. A little bit. Been here since nine thirty ten. It's three thirty. Same floor bull elk. One cow moose, three bears, and a hawk. We'll see what the afternoon brings. Oh. 
small hit of dopamine floods in my bloodstream. A notification calls me to act now. Constant distractions divert my attention to the fact that I'm no longer happy somehow. the last day of bear season here in the unit I've been hunting. I've seen two bears tonight. Uh, one was too small. Just passed him up here about an hour ago. A little cinnamon bear. And the other was a black bear that was just on the move too fast. So gonna hike into a place that I've been seeing a bear and hopefully he's in there. Uh, He's been the most consistent of all the bears, so I have about a mile and a half and a few hours to do it, so we'll see what happens. After seeing this black bear in the back of the canyon, I could tell just by the way it moved it was a bigger bear. But it was far enough away, I couldn't tell exactly how big. So I made the plan to move in the next evening on this bear and see if I could get a closer look. One of the toughest parts about hunting bears in the mountains out here is the wind. Finding a consistent wind that'll stay that way long enough for you to make your move in, which sometimes can take hours on these big faces. So many times right at dark, those thermals will change and get you right when you're in the moment of getting close to that bear or being close to finding him. The thermals have got me so many times, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened tonight. Well, here we are again. <clears throat> Same familiar view, getting ready here at the truck. The only difference is now I've switched areas completely into an area that hunting solo has a lot more risk involved because I'm in uh, really thick grizzly bear country. In fact, I've already seen three grizz while I've been in here and not one black bear. So it's really kind of nerve wracking to take these hikes by myself. So I'm trying to limit and sort of pinpoint going in, setting up glass, and, or if I see one, just beeline it after it. Here in grizzly country, I know if I'm gonna set my rifle down, Or even just sit and relax for a while. I like to put one in it. Heard of too many stories of getting snuck up on here. So I'm just gonna lean it against the tree right here, take my pack off and settle in, but uh, I like to have this thing ready to go if need be. The one thing I love about hunting new areas is you're constantly discovering new trails and new approaches to the hunt. It keeps your opportunities and options open, so no matter which way the wind's going or what the weather's doing, you always feel like you have a place you can go where you're in the ball game. It's a fine line when you hunt out here for spring bears because you're trying to find the best bear habitat you can. And nowadays that doesn't mean just one type of bear. Encounters with grizzlies are getting more and more common out here. You just have to learn to hunt smart out here and not put yourself in a vulnerable position, especially when you're hunting by yourself. Well, you can see I'm here in this spotting shack that I've made over the last week of sitting here spotting for good reason. It's rained 
I mean the majority of the time. It's raining now. That's why I'm in here. Kind of something to help pass the time. I just keep adding more and more to it. Just saw that cinnamon sow and blonde cub here. It's about quarter to four. June 6th. But anyway, as soon as this rain clears, it should be perfect bear hunting. Oh. We'll see what happens here. Where the pavement ends, on X begins. I love looking for other animal sign while I'm out there hunting, with no pressure and feeling like you're not in a hurry to advance. Sometimes I even get lucky and pick up a bonus set of sheds. Still can't get over I found this match set. It's, you just never find match sets of moose. So awesome. I'm uh I've been looking at this area here for I don't know probably about an hour and a half or so. I haven't seen anything. I'm probably gonna pack up and head back. Maybe go out to the truck, grab some lunch and go hit another area. I feel like I've really hunted across this face since first thing this morning. I did cut, I did cut two different sets of bear tracks, but didn't see them. I don't think that there's a more enjoyable time to be in the mountains. The weather, the colors, and the condition of the forest after a long winter is almost like it's manicured, like a yard. It's a beautiful time to be out. The spring flowers, the fresh calves and fawns. There's so much happening in the forest. So even if you're not seeing bears, you're never bored out here. super cool. I was just sitting here overlooking these new meadows that I haven't hunted yet. All of a sudden I turned around and looked right down here and there was a big bull moose kind of coming out of the timber. He didn't really know what I was and he just kept feeding right at me, right at me. Ended up at about 90 yards here but then caught my wind and right then my battery died. <laughs> Now he's feeding on the side hill across here, but there's just so much wildlife out in the spring. It's so much fun to be out here. You never know what you're gonna see. I had now seen over 20 bears this season. Only one or two had got my heart pumping or bears that I would have liked to have gone after. But because of wind or location, it just wasn't possible. When I spotted this bear, 
I knew this was the bear I had been waiting for all season. You could tell by the way he moved and looked that he was big. Instantly, I knew this was a big bear. I knew I needed to make a decision quickly. The bear was moving fast and the sun was going down. Unfortunately, I picked the wrong ridge, and the last time I saw this bear, he was walking dead away from me at 980 yards across the canyon. Not a shot I'm willing to take. Well, it is officially the last day of bear season. I've positioned myself in as good a spot as I can think of to hopefully catch up to this big chocolate. It's just now noon, so I've got the better part of the day to watch this probably two, three mile stretch of ridgeline here and just hope he pops out and gives me one last chance. Him or another mature boar, you know, it's like taken between 20 and 30 bears somewhere, 25 bears, something like that in my lifetime and when you get to that point you get pickier and you want to kill a bear every year because you enjoy it, the hunting and the process, but not just any bear, you get a lot more particular. So I've seen 29 bears this year. Of those 29, I would have shot three. And this is the best of them all, if I can find him. I'm a little nervous because one of the times I saw the sow grizzly with uh, cubs, or one of the sow grizzlies, was literally right here behind me. I was up on this hill, but. Kind of like head on a swivel here, but June 15th, last day, just hoping for a buzzer beater bear. I played cat and mouse with this bear right up until the end of the season. It was fun. I really enjoyed the challenge. I would hike in and go out, and the next day his tracks would be over mine. We kind of were around each other those last few days, but I could never catch him in a spot to get a shot. I believe this bear knew I was hunting him, based on his actions after I found him. But who knows, it may be just the way that he's learned to survive around humans all these years. The best part was I never saw another hunter the entire season when I was out hiking. I would catch people along the roads and things, but when you get away and you get back in there, it's like a forest all to yourself in the spring, and that's what I really enjoy. That feeling of being alone the way that it really should be when you're out there hunting, in my opinion. I never did catch up with that bear. I hunted him right until dark the last day of the season. But I appreciated the chase, and it's a great spot for me to start next spring. And I might even be able to find that bull moose's sheds again. From my understanding, a lot of times bulls like that will shed in the similar areas. So I'm excited to get back next year. There is a ton to look forward to. I ended up seeing 29 black bears and 7 grizzlies this spring. Three of those bears I would have taken, and the one I became slightly obsessed with. I chased him right to the end. Like I said in the beginning, I've been hunting bears for a lot of years, and I've taken several of them, 
and some really good ones through the years too. What I'm looking for is evolved, and I don't feel that pressure to take a bear every single year. I've said since the beginning I wouldn't take an animal to make a TV episode, and I'm not about to do it 13 seasons in. I enjoy the pursuit of bears. I enjoy what it requires to find big bears year after year, and if it doesn't happen now, I'm okay with that. When I look back through the years at the experiences I've had and the places I've hunted, I've been pretty blessed. So if I find a bear, and I end up getting close enough to that bear that I want every year, I'd consider myself pretty dang lucky. The one thing I've learned through the years is, bears grow old. So my pursuit for these bears can sometimes take years to complete. But I know I have years to make it happen, and I enjoy that challenge. I think that's pretty cool that you can hunt one particular animal that long. I think it's what draws me to bears and what appeals to me about hunting them year after year. And I've grown to really respect the black bear and what it takes for them to survive out here.